Did you know that finding peace, clarity and strength isn't just about controlling what's around you, but mastering what's within you? In a world constantly buzzing with distractions, pressures and endless comparisons, many of us struggle to keep our inner world steady. If you want to truly feel grounded, no matter what life throws your way, then you need to start with yourself. This isn't about quick fixes or surface level changes, it's about cultivating inner resilience, clarity and peace. Today, we'll explore powerful stoic practices that can transform how you respond to life, from mastering your emotions and building resilience to letting go of what no longer serves you. Imagine a life where negativity doesn't drag you down, where you can navigate chaos with clarity and offer compassion without losing yourself in the process. These aren't just ideas, they're skills anyone can develop, and by the end, you'll have a roadmap to mastering inner peace in even the most challenging moments. Curious about how this can reshape your life? Let's dive in. Number one, mastering inner peace in a distracted world. Let's picture a moment of pure peace, a place where distractions fade and you feel centered, grounded and entirely present. Imagine how fulfilling it would be to live in that state, especially in today's world, where the pace of life feels almost overwhelming. For many of us, the day begins and ends with a phone in hand, an endless scroll of messages, emails, notifications and responsibilities. It's all too easy to feel like we're constantly in reactive mode, barely able to catch our breath before the next wave of distractions hits. But what if you could break that cycle? What if, instead of feeling pulled in every direction, you could master inner peace, grounding yourself in the moment. Now, to truly master inner peace, we need to understand what's at the core of it. Inner peace is not about escaping reality or avoiding life's challenges. It's a state of being where you have clarity and calm, even when things around you feel chaotic. Achieving this requires us to become more mindful, learn the art of detachment, and choose to be present intentionally. It's like building a fortress around your mind, one that shields you from the constant demands of the outside world. This concept isn't new. It's been a core aspect of Stoic philosophy for centuries. Stoicism teaches us that the only thing truly under our control is our own mind and how we respond to the world around us. Think back to a time when life felt simpler maybe before the era of smartphones, when conversations happened face to face and time felt a little slower. Back then, we had moments where our minds were naturally at peace and we weren't as bombarded with distractions. Nostalgia for that simpler time can remind us that inner peace is something we've all experienced before. It's not some far off dream. It's a state we're capable of attaining again. We just need to take small, consistent steps to reclaim it. Curious about where to start? Begin by making time each day, even just five or ten minutes, to sit in silence, to detach from the world, and just be with yourself. It may feel strange or even uncomfortable at first, but with time, this practice will bring you back to that inner calm. Each moment of intentional quiet allows you to step back from the noise and recenter. Imagine how different your days would feel if you could cultivate this habit of peaceful presence, building a fortress of calm within yourself. Number two, harnessing the power of stoic detachment. Imagine for a moment the freedom of being unaffected by petty dramas, unswayed by criticism and undisturbed by the opinions of others. Imagine the power of truly knowing who you are and standing by your principles, unbothered by the whirlwind of other people's judgments. Sounds empowering, doesn't it? This is the essence of stoic detachment. It's not about being cold or indifferent, rather. It's about freeing yourself from emotional chains that weigh you down, robbing you of your happiness and clarity. 
stoic detachment teaches us that we can't control other people's actions, reactions, or the randomness of life's events. What we can control is our response to them. By understanding this, we gain the power to detach emotionally from things beyond our control. When we release our attachment to outcomes and people's opinions, we open ourselves up to true freedom, a freedom that comes from inner strength rather than external validation. This concept of detachment is rooted in the teachings of the ancient Stoics, who believed that our well-being should not be dictated by circumstances or people's judgments. Instead, it should stem from a place of self-assurance and inner conviction. Thinking back to times in your life when someone's opinion hurt you or when a setback knocked you down can help put this in perspective. We've all experienced moments when we let others' judgments define us or allow disappointments to shake our self-worth. But imagine if, back then, you had the power to let go of those attachments. Imagine the peace and resilience you could have carried through each challenge, understanding that these things don't define you. So how can you cultivate this detachment in your life? Start by practicing self-awareness. Each time you feel emotionally triggered or overwhelmed by someone's opinion, take a step back. Remind yourself that these are merely external factors. They don't control your inner state unless you allow them to. The more you practice, the more natural it becomes to detach from what doesn't serve your peace. Picture a life where you walk with calm and confidence, untouched by unnecessary emotional burdens. Stoic detachment offers this promise, a life driven by your own values, not the noise of the outside world. Number three, transforming anger into strength with Stoic wisdom. Let's face it, Anger is a natural emotion. It's something we've all felt at various points in our lives, and in the right moments it can even feel empowering. Think of how anger has the ability to ignite our spirits, push us to act, and even bring about change. But just as quickly, it can cloud our judgment, lead us to say things we regret, or act in ways that go against our better nature. Now imagine if, instead of anger controlling you, you could harness it, turning its energy into something positive, constructive and strengthening. This is where stoic wisdom comes in, transforming anger from a destructive force into a source of inner strength. According to stoic philosophy, emotions like anger arise from our perception of events. The stoics believed that it's not the events themselves that provoke anger, but our interpretation of them. When we look at anger from this perspective, it becomes something we can manage and transform, rather than something that controls us. By analyzing what truly causes our anger, we can often see that it's rooted in our own expectations or assumptions. And once we become aware of this, we can start to change our response. Anger, when transformed through stoic wisdom, becomes an opportunity to practice patience, resilience, and self-control. Reflect on a time when anger got the best of you. Perhaps you snapped at a friend or reacted impulsively in a situation you later regretted. These experiences remind us of the cost of letting anger take control. However, they also show us what can happen when we approach situations with greater self-awareness. Instead of letting anger dictate your actions, you can channel its energy into something meaningful, standing up for your values, pushing through a tough situation, or advocating for yourself calmly and assertively. Are you curious about how to make this shift? The next time anger arises, pause and observe it. Ask yourself what's truly causing this reaction. Often, this single step of self-reflection can diffuse a large part of the emotion. Then, redirect that energy toward a constructive action, be it setting a boundary, speaking your truth calmly, or simply letting the moment pass without reacting. Mastering this transformation isn't about denying your anger, but rather about understanding it deeply and using it to your advantage. Imagine how powerful it would feel to have complete control over this strong emotion. 
shaping it into a tool that reinforces your inner strength and composure. Number four, finding clarity amidst emotional chaos. Picture this, you're facing a day filled with big decisions, conversations or unexpected challenges and your emotions feel like a storm, pushing, pulling, leaving you uncertain. Amidst this inner chaos, finding clarity feels almost impossible. It's like trying to see through fog. Everything is clouded by worries, fears and distractions. Yet imagine if, instead of feeling overwhelmed, you had a calmness, an inner compass guiding you. That's the beauty of finding clarity amidst emotional chaos. In the Stoic view, clarity comes from detachment, much like stepping outside a whirlwind instead of getting caught inside. Clarity requires stepping back and observing emotions rather than letting them define us. The Stoics taught that emotions often arise from judgments and beliefs that may not even reflect reality. For example, when you feel anxious, it may be due to an assumption that something terrible might happen. Yet that fear, while real in feeling, isn't a reality yet. Recognizing this gives us power over our emotions, enabling clarity to break through even in our most turbulent moments. Think back to a time when emotions guided a decision you later regretted. Maybe it was reacting out of frustration, making a choice in anger, or simply feeling confused when pressured to act. These moments remind us of how emotional chaos can lead us away from what we truly value or desire. But remember, clarity isn't something we're born with or without. It's something we can develop. It's a skill honed through mindfulness, self-awareness and practice, making each moment of reflection a step toward clearer, more grounded decisions curious about how to cultivate this in your life? Start by slowing down and breathing. When emotions surge, try asking yourself, what am I feeling and why? Simple reflection brings awareness to your thoughts, allowing clarity to emerge naturally. By cultivating a habit of observing your mind, you'll start to see through the fog, with each moment of awareness bringing a little more light and understanding. Number five, building resilience against negativity. Imagine yourself as a strong oak tree standing firm, its roots deep and stable, even when the wind picks up or storms rage. Just as the tree remains unshaken by external forces, building resilience is about grounding ourselves so that negativity can't uproot our inner peace. In life, we inevitably encounter negativity, be it criticism, personal setbacks or the challenges of daily stresses. But with resilience, negativity doesn't derail us. Instead, it becomes something we can withstand and in many cases, learn from. Stoicism teaches that resilience isn't about suppressing or ignoring negativity, but about understanding that our strength lies in our response to it. When faced with criticism, for example, we can see it as an opportunity for growth rather than a blow to our ego. Or when setbacks occur, we can treat them as moments to practice patience and perseverance. This approach is grounded in the stoic principle of amor fati, or love of fate. The idea of embracing each moment as it is, with all its difficulties and imperfections. Think back to a challenging time you faced, perhaps a failure or rejection, when it felt like the world was closing in. But you made it through, didn't you? These experiences of overcoming difficulties show us that resilience is often already within us. We just need to nurture it and trust in our own ability to rise above. Each setback we've survived builds our foundation stronger, like that oak tree's roots sinking deeper with each storm it withstands. To build resilience in your own life, start by focusing on perspective. When faced with negativity, pause and ask, what can I learn from this? Or how can this strengthen me? This small shift transforms challenges from obstacles into tools for growth. By embracing this mindset, you're not just enduring life's storms. 
You're thriving in spite of them, each step building an unshakable foundation. Number six, developing emotional independence. Imagine the freedom of feeling whole and complete in yourself, unburdened by the need for constant approval or validation from others. Emotional independence doesn't mean isolating yourself. It's about nurturing your inner strength so that you're not reliant on anyone else to feel at peace. Emotional independence gives you the ability to move through life with confidence, clarity and authenticity. Qualities that enable deeper, healthier connections with others. In the Stoic tradition, emotional independence is rooted in self-sufficiency. The Stoics taught that our sense of well-being should come from within, not from external circumstances or relationships. By cultivating inner strength, we free ourselves from the limitations of needing external validation. This doesn't mean ignoring people's opinions altogether, but rather not letting them control our inner peace. In this way, we move through life with a sense of groundedness, making decisions based on our values rather than the fleeting opinions of others. Think back to a time when you may have been overly affected by someone else's opinion, perhaps seeking approval or feeling hurt by criticism. These experiences can teach us the power of standing strong in our own beliefs. When we learn to validate ourselves, to trust in our own worth, we find a freedom that no external approval can give. Emotional independence is about knowing that our worth doesn't rely on anyone else's opinion. It's something we nurture within. Wondering where to start. Begin by affirming your own values and beliefs. When facing a decision or someone's judgment, ask yourself, does this align with who I am? Gradually, you'll find that emotional independence isn't about shutting people out, but about staying true to yourself in every interaction. By becoming emotionally self-reliant, you build relationships not out of need, but out of genuine connection. Number seven, embracing calm under pressure. Imagine being in a high stress situation and instead of feeling tense, you feel an inner calm a steady presence that guides you through without losing your center. In moments of pressure, calmness is a superpower. The ability to stay calm not only improves decision-making, but also enables us to act with clarity and confidence, no matter the stakes. Embracing calm under pressure allows us to take life's challenges in stride, responding rather than reacting. The Stoics believed that calmness comes from understanding that pressure is often a perception rather than a reality. When we see challenges as neutral events rather than threats, we empower ourselves to approach them with an even-tempered mind. The Stoic philosopher Seneca taught that by preparing for challenges and accepting that setbacks are part of life, we can move through stressful situations without losing our composure. Calmness becomes a skill we cultivate through practice and perspective. Reflect on times when you faced pressure, maybe in school, work or personal life. Think about how maintaining calm would have changed the outcome. These experiences remind us of the value of a steady mind amidst chaos and show us that with each moment of calm, we strengthen our ability to handle pressure more effectively. Number eight. Letting go of ego for true growth. Imagine the freedom of letting go of the need to always be right or the fear of making mistakes. Letting go of ego means freeing yourself from the limitations of pride and embracing a mindset of continuous growth. Ego often limits us by making us overly defensive or afraid to step outside our comfort zone. But when we let go of ego, we open ourselves up to feedback, new perspectives, and a richer, more fulfilling life. Stoicism teaches that ego is often our biggest barrier to true progress. The Stoics believed in memento mori, a reminder of our mortality, which humbles us and puts our struggles into perspective. By seeing ourselves as learners, rather than as people who must have all the answers, we embrace a mindset of humility and curiosity. Letting go of ego isn't about diminishing yourself, 
it's about recognizing that there's always room for growth. Think about a time when ego held you back, perhaps avoiding a difficult conversation or refusing to admit a mistake. These moments show us that ego, though it can feel like self-protection, actually limits our potential. By releasing it, we invite greater understanding, deeper connections, and a path to personal growth. Want to start this journey? Begin by embracing mistakes as learning opportunities rather than failures. When you feel ego rising, ask yourself, is my pride worth more than my growth? Gradually, letting go of ego becomes second nature, and with it comes a life of openness, resilience, and authentic development. Number nine, cultivating self-discipline. Through Stoicism, imagine the strength of mind that allows you to stay consistent in your goals, even when distractions arise. Self-discipline is like a muscle. Each time you exercise it, it grows stronger. Cultivating self-discipline means creating a foundation for success and fulfillment, allowing you to pursue your aspirations without being sidetracked by short-term pleasures or temptations. For the Stoics, self-discipline was essential to leading a meaningful life. It's the practice of aligning actions with values and purpose. Epictetus taught that no man is free who is not master of himself. This means that true freedom comes from self-discipline, the ability to guide our actions, choose our focus, and act in alignment with our values. Reflect on a goal you've achieved, whether it was staying fit, learning a new skill, or completing a project. Self-discipline was likely the driving force behind it, proving that our achievements are shaped by consistent effort rather than fleeting motivation. With each act of discipline, we fortify our ability to stay committed, making the pursuit of our goals a natural part of who we are. Curious about strengthening your self-discipline? Start with small daily commitments, like setting a time for reflection or a few moments of mindfulness. Over time, these small practices compound, reinforcing your self-discipline and helping you achieve even the loftiest goals with focus and resilience. Number 10. Practicing Compassion Without Attachment Picture feeling deep compassion for others without letting their pain become your own burden. Practicing compassion without attachment means showing kindness, empathy and care without compromising your own peace. It's a balance that allows you to offer genuine support while remaining grounded and unaffected by others' emotions or choices. The Stoics emphasized that compassion doesn't mean absorbing others' suffering, but offering understanding without judgment. This concept resonates with the Stoic value of sympathia, a deep connection to all humanity. Practicing compassion without attachment means offering support, understanding and kindness without becoming consumed by others' struggles. Think back to a time when you wanted to help someone but felt drained afterward. These moments remind us that to give freely, we need to protect our own energy. Practicing compassion without attachment helps us balance empathy with self-care, allowing us to uplift others without losing ourselves. Curious to try it? The next time you offer compassion, remind yourself that your role is to support, not fix. Embrace empathy, but remember your boundaries. With practice, compassion without attachment becomes a natural way to connect deeply without feeling overwhelmed, letting kindness and inner peace coexist harmoniously. By embracing these stoic principles, you're taking the first step toward a life that isn't swayed by every challenge or setback. You're building a foundation of inner peace, resilience and clarity that empowers you to face any storm with calm and confidence. Remember, true strength lies in mastering your reactions, in letting go of what doesn't serve you, and in practicing compassion without attachment. This journey isn't always easy, but the rewards are worth every effort you put in. 
If you've made it this far, drop a hundred in the comments. You're among the rare few committed to lasting change, and that's no small feat. If you're ready to dive deeper and truly transform your life, hit that subscribe button and join our community. Together, we're just getting started.